good morning students uh, we were discussing about uh, component parts of a railway track and we discussed about the rails type of rails and some phenomena like conning of wheels creep in rails etc okay so now we can discuss about sleepers so what is meant by sleepers this is this these are sleepers and sleepers are the transverse ties that are laid in order to support the rails in order to give support to these rails we are giving transverse ties and these are known as sleepers and what is the function it transmit the wheel load from the rail to the ballast this is a medium between rail and ballast so uh, the load from uh, wheels are transferred to the rails and from rails it is transferred to the sleepers and these sleepers transfer the loads to the ballast and finally it is this load is transferred to the subgrade soil okay so <coughs> what are the functions and requirements of sleepers this we have discussed in the first module the functions of sleepers are uh, first one holding the rails to the correct gauge alignment okay in order to hold the rails to the correct gauge alignment we are providing sleepers and it gi give a firm and ever support to the rails it give a permanent support to the rails and it transfers the load evenly from the rails to a wider area of the ballast so it will decrease the stresses since it is transferred to a wider area and it provide longitudinal and lateral stability to the permanent way so these are the functions of sleepers next we can look through the classification of sleepers based on the materials by which uh, we are constructing or we are making the sleepers it is classified into wooden sleepers metal sleeper concrete sleeper and this metal sleeper again classified into cast iron sleeper if it is made of cast iron it is cast iron sleeper and steel sleeper then uh, this concrete sleeper again classified into rc is reinforced concrete sleeper and if it is made of pre stressed concrete it is known as pre stressed concrete sleeper so this classification is based on the material which is used for its construction so these are the wooden sleepers and uh, so for that we are using hardwood and softwood uh, example of hardwood sal and teak and uh, softwood chir and uh, devadar deodar these are known as wooden sleepers in olden days we are using wooden sleepers nowadays uh we are not using these wooden sleepers these are the metal sleepers you may be seen and these are the concrete sleepers okay the next is sleeper density so what is meant by sleeper density it is the number of sleepers per rail length so we are providing particular number of sleepers per rail length okay so that is known as sleeper density and it is specified as m plus x or n plus x where m and n is the length of the rail in meters and x is the number that varies according to the factors such as axle load speed type section of the rail etc okay from country to country it varies based on the uh, different factors Dif uh, factors like axle load speed type and section of rail etc x varies okay so m or n is the uh, length of rail and in india we are providing or the sleeper density varies from m plus 4 to m plus 7 for main track that is if the for example if the length of the main track is 13 meters okay if it is 13 meters then what will be a uh, sleeper density it may be 13 plus 7 that is 20 20 is the number of sleepers or uh, uh, some other areas we are using m plus 4 that is 13 plus 4 17 so the sleeper density varies from 17 to 20 okay like that we are deciding the number of sleepers and that number of sleeper per rail length is known as sleeper density okay so these are about sleepers type of sleeper and functions of sleeper next next is bellasless track bellasless track this is the example of bellasless track so in this figure you can so there is uh, you can see there is no ballast ballast is not provided here it is concrete structure so bellasless track or slab track is a type of railway track infrastructure in which the traditional elastic combination of ties of sleepers and ballast is replaced by a rigid construction of concrete that combination of uh, sleeper and ballast is not there and it is uh, replaced by the rigid construction of concrete that is known as bellasless track so it is a new technology so we are replacing the combination of uh, sleepers and ballast by a rigid construction of concrete this is known as ballastless track okay so uh, these notes i will uh, give notes of this ballastless track 
and uh, the sleepers i will uh, share after completing this uh, module 2 okay so thank you